Finding a new radio frequency in Europe is becoming really hard. Hertzian communications began in the 18th century and they are used for aviation air ground communication, navigation and surveillance. The technology used for voice communications between controllers and pilots in the VHF band hasn't changed much since the Second World War when there weren't that many aircraft flying. Yet, aviation technology has evolved considerably over the years and significant improvements have been made. Today, surveillance, navigation and communications equipment relies entirely on radio frequencies and so will the aeronautical systems of the future. But radio frequencies are scarce resources. All these frequencies have to be assigned to users in an environment that is growing more congested all the time. Frequency shifts are a possible option, but they can have a domino effect on compatibility with adjacent air traffic control sectors. Geographical separation is needed to protect sectors from interference. To make matters still more complicated, there are more and more requests for frequency allocations these days as new communication technologies also need radio spectrum. All this extra activity means that some communities are now impinging on aviation's frequency bands. In July 2011, the European Commission gave the network manager the responsibility for managing scarce resources in aviation and radio frequencies definitely fall into this category. Collaborative decision-making arrangements based on constant interaction and consultation with stakeholders make for robust governance of radio frequencies in ICAO's European region. The network manager's goal is to meet performance targets and managing scarce resources is all part of the jigsaw.